If you're looking for the best affordable makeup, here are the drugstore products I use on a daily basis. Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, click that subscribe button down below and hit the bell for new videos every week. Today, I'm gonna share with you my favorite drugstore makeup and tools that I use pretty much every day whenever I'm doing my makeup. I'm pretty picky when it comes to makeup products and try out different things, but as soon as I find something that I really like, it's one that I stick to and use for years and years until I find something better. So all of these products and tools are ones that I'm currently using on a daily basis whenever I am using my makeup and they're ones that I absolutely love and I think that they are some of the best drugstore makeup products and tools that are out on the market right now. All of the products that I mentioned today I will link down below in the description so click down below to check those out. To get started, I'm gonna go in the order that I use these products or put them on my face in order to keep it kind of organized. So we're gonna start with primer. I'm currently using two different primers. I'm gonna share them both with you here today in combination. And it's honestly the best combination that I have found for my skin. And I like it even better than the expensive primer that I bought several months ago that was my go-to favorite. This combination is currently my go-to favorite. The first primer that I put on my face is this Maybelline Master Prime. It is the pink one, which is the Blur Plus Defend. This is the one that has sunscreen in it. I like using products that have sunscreen in it. That way, when I go outside, it's protecting my face. So it's the pink one. I think they have two other colors, different types of primers. This is just the one that I like the best. This primer just works really well on my face. I have to be careful about about, especially like the primers and the foundations that I put on my face because I have oily skin. So certain things tend to break me out that wouldn't break out other people. This one does not break me out. This one is really nice on my skin. This primer used to have an SPF plus an illuminator in it. That one I absolutely loved, but a while back they changed it. So now it's just this one that has the SPF in it. It's still the same color. Because of that, the other primer that I use in combination with it is this L'Oreal Magic Lumi primer. When I combine this primer with the Maybelline primer, it really just keeps the makeup on my face really well. And this primer with the illuminator, it kind of just brings like a lightness and illumination to your face. I've tried this primer by itself and it is really good by itself, but in combination with that master primer. It is like a dream primer. The Maybelline primer makes the makeup stick really well to my face and this adds that like sparkle or illumination underneath my foundation that kind of just, it brings like a freshness to your face and makes it look really nice. So I use this all over my face again right after I put on the Master Prime Primer. Next is foundation. I found this foundation several years ago and it has been my go-to for years and years and years. I get so many compliments on my makeup with this foundation. It works so well and to me it works amazing, especially for a drugstore foundation. So this is what I use every single day and that is the CoverGirl Outlast foundation. Now I've used two different types of this foundation. This one is kind of the traditional foundation that they've always had. They also have the Outlast Active. They work pretty much the same. I consider them pretty much the same thing. When I bought this one, I went to the store just to purchase another one of these that I had ran out of and this was all that they had in the store. At the time it was kind of like their new product. So I gave it a try. This color is 840, which is natural base. Beige. This one is more of my summer color, so it's just a little bit dark for me right now. The one I'm wearing today is 820, which is creamy natural. I feel like both of these work pretty much the same. If I'm being completely honest, 
I kind of like the active one more. I don't know if they're any different. They both have an SPF 20 in them. This one, the Stay Fabu the All Day Stay Fabulous one, says that it has a, a primer in it. I've always just used a primer underneath it though. The active one doesn't say if it does, this one's supposed to be like a sweat proof one that doesn't clog your pores. I feel like it stays on a little bit better than this one. When I went to the store the other day and bought a replacement of the Stay Fabulous, I didn't see the active, so I bought this. I pretty much use either one of them. They are both absolutely great. They're both oil-free, which is really important if you have oily skin like me. That helps you to not break out if you use products with oil in them and you have oily skin, a lot of times that will break out your face. So this is an amazing, my number one go-to makeup product that I have. So going in order, I'm gonna talk about a couple of different tools here. The first one is this Beaky Makeup Sponge. This may technically not be drugstore, but I'm gonna include it in this video because it's from Amazon and it's a drugstore price. I did a review on these makeup sponges a couple of months ago that I will link right up here. I have switched to this makeup sponge from my beauty blender. I did a test of these for a while. It works exactly the same as a beauty blender, except that it is way, way cheaper. A regular beauty blender is going to cost you $20, whereas a pack of five of these from Amazon will cost you $8.99. So if you're a beauty blender fan, I highly recommend that you check these beaky makeup sponges out. Next, I have some brushes that I use on a daily basis, and that is the Real Techniques brushes. These ones right here are the ones that I use on a daily basis. Almost all of the brushes that I use when I do my makeup are the Real Techniques. The ones that I have here are the powder brush. This one is really good for either applying powder onto your face to set your makeup or if you bake your face like I do or use a wet makeup sponge to apply your powder, this works really nicely to buff it out. Then I have the setting brush. This works really well. I use this for two different things when I'm doing my makeup. First, I use it to brush off the powder underneath my eyes whenever I bake my eyes. I don't like to apply my under eye powder with a brush. You can certainly do that with this brush. This brush is made for that. My under eyes just don't set as well if I do that. So I bake on my under eye powder with my wet makeup sponge and then after it's set I will use this to wipe it off. The other thing that I use this for I just turn it around to the other side and I use it to apply my highlighter. Then I have this eyeshadow brush. I have the full set of the eyeshadow brush kit from Real Techniques. This one is just, it's not labeled, I think it's just the lid brush. I use this for eyeshadow on my lid and on my brow bone. I also use the other eyeshadow brushes in the set that this came in, just not quite as much as I use this one. This one gets used every single day. The last Real Techniques brush that I have is the blush brush. This is the first one that I purchased years and years ago and I use this one absolutely every single day. It is perfect for blush and I have seen people use it because it has kind of like a pointed end. I have seen people use this for bronzer occasionally. Going back to makeup along with that blush brush. I've had this product for a really long time so a lot of it is worn off. This is the Milani Luminoso blush. It's kind of like a peachy pink or corally color that has a little bit of like a shimmer or a highlighter to it. This blush has been touted for years as the dupe for the NARS Orgasm blush. I absolutely do love that blush. This one is just a cheaper alternative to it and it's the one that I have been reaching for a lot lately and it is the blush that I have used on my face today. It's just a good color and I like that luminosity. It just brings a little bit of brightness to your face and it's a good staple drugstore blush. Next I have two eyeliners. This black one is the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner in Onyx. It's a mechanical eyeliner. 
I prefer mechanical ones over ones that you have to sharpen because I just hate having to pull out a sharpener. I usually like the blackest black eyeliner that you can get and that's what, that's what this Onyx color is. On a daily basis, I don't like to use a liquid eyeliner anymore because it just takes a lot longer. This one's easier to just apply really quickly and move on. The other eyeliner I have is a nude colored eyeliner. The black eyeliner I only use on the top on the bottom, on my waterline, I like to use a nude eyeliner because it kind of opens up your eyes a little bit more. Sometimes if you put black underneath, it will make your eyes look smaller. So nude is nice to open up your eyes. You can tell that I have really loved and used this eyeliner. This is from Rimmel London. It is their Coal eyeliner. It's in the color 005 Nude. This one is one of those eyeliners that you do have to sharpen. That's the only thing that I don't like about this, but I don't use a ton of it, so I don't have to sharpen it all of the time. Since it's their Coal eyeliner, it has a nice creamy consistency and it glides on really well on your waterline and opens up your eyes a little bit. If you love beauty videos, click right up here for my beauty video playlist. Those are all the drugstore products I use on a daily basis. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.